Ready? Okay, it's a real pleasure to um, introduce you to the director of CMN. That's the organization I'm a part of. Um, I've known George, what, how many years, George? Uh, since 2004. 2004. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to do some interviews with him to give you a background of where CMN is coming from. Okay, was we're going to <laughs> Me, George. <laughs> <laughs> through uh, your your friend, our friend Gwen. Oh, Gwen Catron. Catron. Yeah, I say Catron. You say Catron. Right. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> uh, yeah, we met through uh, a mutual friend, Gwen Catron. I think we were putting together a meeting, weren't we, at your house? Yeah, yeah. at Tiga K, and uh, we had some meetings, and and just fell in love with John, and and he he really helped us uh, overcome some <laughs> sorrows. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've helped me because it's been an umbrella. You know, it's been an umbrella for me as uh -huh. a ministry. One time, I had a had a vision of, of me and John under an umbrella, and we were singing that song, uh, "Singing in, in the, the rain, rain singing sing in the rain." rain. <laughs> I mind your dignity now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like a, a marination and intoxication in the goodness of the Holy Spirit, and just. Uh, Allowing ourselves to just soak in the love of God and just to uh, to be still and enjoy God. You know, we're created and put on earth to enjoy the presence of the Lord, and and it's just great to know so many people like John that uh, have helped set us free and take us out of those religious boxes and those traditions of the the past that would limit us and separate us from God to just really fall more in love with him and realize the uh, the intimacy and appreciation of the Holy Spirit for us. I think what I love about CMM, George, well really it's not CMM, it's, it's people, isn't it? It's people. No, it's people. people. It's relationship. Uh, my relationship is with George. Uh, hmm. It's not on doctrine. It's not on dogma. It's on relationship, it's a friendship. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Part of my ministry before I was traveling was uh, working with the needy in Liverpool. And then, uh, you know, the ministry was recognized by the Queen and stuff. So, it's an ideal uh, partnership with CMM, because CMM are really working with the needy as well. Mm -hmm. And supporting the missionaries and those out there on the front line. Mm -hmm. And we just received our USAID number in January, and we had worked on that for almost two years after the Haiti earthquake, and that will help us uh, help more people throughout the world uh, now with that USAID number. And uh, just about a week after that, a friend of mine called who ships 180 to $200 million of aid a year around the world out of their base in Florida. Uh, said that the Lord spoke to him recently that he saw CMM Morningstar shipping billions of dollars of aid to the nations of the earth. So that's even a recent encouragement just a couple of weeks ago about God's call and our uh, response to what he is saying to help feed the poor, to give water to the thirsty, that if we give to the least of these, we're giving as unto Jesus. And we desire to do more of that and to help people. We have thousands of orphans and we're uh, really trusting the Lord for sponsors for those and uh, we only have about 10 sponsors but we have over 2,000 orphans waiting for someone to help them with education, health care, housing, lodging and a, and a chance at a bright future that we are messengers of hope and we bring the light of God wherever we go because his yoke is easy and his burden is light and we want to carry the light. It's kind of like a Switzerland, <laughs> or kind of like the UN of where it is a real hub. When we have a conference starting tomorrow, and uh, many times people from many nations, sometimes 60 nations, will show up at a conference and hungering for the Lord. And it's great to see so many people from like even Baptist or Presbyterian Episcopal backgrounds who are all coming together. That this place is really like a, a spiritual magnet across the denominational lines. It's just people hungry for God and for God's purposes to be fulfilled. And John's a big part of that. Thank you, George. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, George. Yeah.